Hello and welcome to another battle report for the channel. Today we have another Kings of War battle report. This game will be Dwarves versus Salamanders at 1850 points. Scenario Dominate. The Dwarf list is similar to what you've seen before. A Shield Breaker Horde with plus one to hit. Iron Guard Regiment, Proved Strength, Earth Elementals, Elite, Bulwarkers, Rangers, Greater Earth Elemental, Steel Behemoth, Flame Belcher, Stone Priest. Two army standard bearers, uh, one with the healing charm and one with the boom stick, and a ranger captain with wings. Uh, the salamander list, I'll probably get a couple of the names wrong. Um, I'll just probably reference them by their games workshop names. Uh, but the first one is some spelling of Gecko Tar Warriors. These are your skinks. He has a horde of them and he has a headstrong item. Uh, he has a regiment of the ancients, I think they're called. It's the, it's the um, temple guard. Uh, with the crushing strength upgrade, um, swap out a defensive point. Uh, Horde of Tyrants with the plus one to hit. Uh, three troops of hunters, two with bows and one chameleon, um, which gives them stealthy and throwing items. Uh, one regiment of sky raiders, one battle platform. Uh, one hero on a drake with the inspiring item. Um, a general on foot with the armor upgrade, so defense six. And then a mage priest with wings of honey maze. <clears throat> so we get into deployment here. Um, my opponent's right side. He has from right to left uh, hunters with bows, uh, battle platform. Uh, the guy in foot there is the general on foot. Horde of Gekotar warriors. The slan in the back is the flying mage priest who uh, slowly falls over, and you'll find later he's not quite so uh, on a palaquin anymore. Uh, from right to left again, there's the Horde of Tyrants, um, the Hero on a Drake with the Inspiring Item, the Ancients, I might be getting that wrong, but that's what I'll call them, Sky Raiders, Hunters, and on his far right, my, uh, my left, is the Chameleon Skinks. So Dwarves will go from left to right. Uh, we have the Steel Behemoth. Behind the Steel Behemoth is the Healing Charmed Army Standard Pair. I like this combination a lot. Um... Behind, next to him, is the Flame Belcher and the Ball Workers. Uh, continuing from left to right, the Horde of Elementals, the Greater Earth Elemental, the Stone Priest is hanging out behind him, um, Iron Guard, um, Army Standard Bear with Boomstick, Iron sh Shield Breaker Horde, and then far right, uh, this is after Vanguard, the rangers and the ranger captain have vanguarded up. <clears throat> so here's deployment after vanguard overview uh, before we start. Um, and he said this is dominate. So that token in the middle is uh, for all intents and purposes the center of the table. Turn one. Um, I win the roll off, but I give it to the salamanders. So he moves up as such. Um, occupying that fence. Uh, occupying the other fence and just keeping everybody up and out of range and over here moving everybody up so they can do some shooting just an overview after movement uh, we go into shooting um, the hunters are able to put a few sh wounds into my ranger unit and rot them so that's about it for the end of that turn um, dwarves turn one everyone moves up reasonably not too fast, not to give any charges off. Um, here the elementals just shuffle up, and the battle line just shuffles up. <clears throat> and you can see at the top there, the flying ranger captain took a charge into the hunters there. Uh, nothing to do in shooting phase, so we move into combat, and the flying hunter successfully uh, wavers this troop of hunters. So, just an overview of that. Nothing too important happening. We move into turn two. Turn two, the Salamanders double charge the Iron Guard with the um, Hero on a Drake and the um, Sky Raiders. Uh, otherwise, everyone sits still on that side. And on this side, the Hunters move up so they can get a few more shots where they want. Otherwise, just some repositioning. Um, no shooting of any effect happens, mostly because he's shooting at 
defense six units without any piercing so we'll go right into combat uh the combination of sky raiders and hero here put five damage onto my iron guard and waver them and that's that so dwarfs oops sorry uh dwarfs turn two um the wavered iron guard do not make their headstrong roll so they're going to hang out but the uh horde of shield breakers there uh, charge into the Sky Raiders. So that's pretty sweet. Um, the Ranger Captain recharges his wavered troop of hunters there. The Elementals keep shuffling up at an angle here. Try to keep the line in place. Um, the Bull Workers go charging over that fence into the Gecko Tar Horde. And otherwise, over here, we just do some shuffling up. Um, the Flame Cannon moves up just enough to get into range of those hunters so we go into shooting phase and the flame cannon does what the flame belcher does to defense three uh troops and they get exp they get burned <clears throat> uh that's it for shooting we move into combat and the ranger captain successfully routes the uh hunter troop he was playing with the um Bull workers do a surprisingly decent six damage here. Um, nothing extendable, but I do roll double sixes, so I waver the Gekotar warriors. And not surprisingly, the shield breakers take out the Sky Raiders, no problem. 25 attacks, hitting on threes, crushing strength two. They're just nasty. <clears throat> I elect to overrun and end up overrunning six inches, which was not my intention. <laughs> um... I probably should have just reformed with them, but... So, they're out showing their flank. You know, what are you going to do? <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe coming down with something. So, uh, this is the overview. At the end of Dwarf's turn two. We move to turn three. Um, in turn three, the Gakotar Warriors, while having the Headstrong item, fail their Headstrong roll. The Battle Platform and General on Foot double charge the tank. Um, you can smell too in the next page. The tyrants charge the greater earth elemental. The ancients flank charge the uh, shield breakers. The Drake hero recharges his iron guard unit, and everyone else just kind of moves around. Um, you can see the uh, flying mage is 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 uh, slowly losing components because he kept falling over. So now he's just a guy sitting on a, a box. Um, but I think he's probably similarly effective. Um, so uh, just an overview. Movement, we go, we go into shooting, and the Mage Priest gives a uh, um, Bane Chant to the Tyrants here, which will be pretty helpful. Um, we we'll go into combat. We start over here. The combined uh, attacks here put six damage onto my tank. Mm, it's okay. He can handle that. Um, the Tyrants put 9 damage onto my Greater Earth Elemental. That's alright. He can handle that. And the Drake uh, only ends up doing a couple more damage to these guys. And they weather it uh, pretty handily with Inspiring there. Uh, the combat I was more worried about. Um, luckily these Ancients had had to climb the fence to perform this maneuver. So he only in, he's doubling his attacks. But he only ends up putting 8 damage on these guys. Which is pretty bad pretty bad showing for them so luckily my dwarves live another day and now he is in big trouble uh overview of that um move into dwarves turn three uh, sorry i didn't get a picture of movement but it was mostly just counter charges um we move into healing and my favorite combination of healing and tank helps heal up the tank um the, the, and the tank had charged the uh, battle platform, but we'll get to that. Uh, over here, everybody countercharged or double charged. The uh, both elementals go into the tyrants. Um, the shield breakers countercharge the ancients, and the now not wavered iron guard go into the drake. Um, on this side, the bull workers go back into the Gekotar warriors, the tank goes into the battle platform, and the, um, 
uh, flame belter who was up to uh, flame some uh, from the uh, the general there on foot. Although he's defense six, so not a lot's going to come out of that. And the uh, the uh, flagger with the healing charm moves around height behind the tank. Um, we go into shooting and actually get a few damage um, onto the general here, which is pretty good. Um, go into combat and the tank doesn't do so great. Um, just a few points of damage here. They're all fine. Um, the bull workers tack on an extra four damage here. They're fine. Um, the combined greater earth elemental and earth elementals only do like six or seven damage or something. It was, it was pretty low. So they're all fine. Um, but on the better side, the iron guard here route the, uh, Drake captain guy that they were looking at so that's awesome so they reform like that and the shield breakers do what shield breakers do and route these guys no problem and and uh, reform like such oh no they over there we go that's the aftermath so they just move up um and one more combat the ranger captain had charged the side here of the uh um Chameleon hunters, but only did one damage. So uh, there's the end of dwarfs turn three. Quite coming, quite the cluster, but uh, in the middle, but quite a good turn for dwarves. Um, picked up some pretty good units, and I'm really taking taking care of the middle. Uh, so we move on to turn four. Uh, turn four. Um, the what am I? In? Oh, the 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 tyrants charge the greater earth elemental here. <coughs> The uh, chameleon-esque hunters, stealthy hunters, whatever they are, um, charge the rear of the um, shield breakers. The Gekatar warriors go counter charge the uh, bull workers. The battle platform goes back into the tank. And the, uh, the general on foot down there goes into the flame belcher. So just another overview of that. Um, in combat, the battle platform puts just a few damage back onto the tank. The general on foot, of course, beats up that flame belter no problem and reforms like such. Um, the Gekotar warriors fail to accomplish much and only do one damage onto the bull workers. The tyrants route their uh, target pretty handily um, and reform like this. Not great. But, hey, what are you going to do? Um, the rear charging hunters here only end up putting four damage on the shield breakers, which was a little low, but I got I got pretty lucky on this because they're only defense four. So, yeah, they, ca they came out pretty good. Um, so they're hanging out. So those tyrants are in a bad spot. Uh, an overview of turn four. Dwarves turn four. We double charge the tyrants to make sure. Um, the flagger with the boomstick and the uh, flying captain, ranger captain, go into the stealthy hunters. Bull workers go back into the Gekatar warriors and the tank goes back into the battle platform. A little bit of healing on the tank. Uh, we were joking about how he's he's welding plates back on onto the tank. I think that would be kind of fun to. Uh, I could use an engineer model for this because he's just following the tank, putting parts back on that fall off. So he does a few more damage to the battle platform. Nothing special. The bull workers come in and do pretty good work, but as showing here, I rolled double ones for the nerve. So while I would have got those get guitar warriors, they are gonna hang out. Uh, not surprising the double charge here takes out the uh, tyrants no problem and we reform like such the captain and army standard bearer uh, waiver the hunters here and there's an overview at the end of four um, really really starting to look like the dwarves game here uh, so turn five um, the, the, uh, the 
flying priest f- flies out of range or out of arc of sight of everybody. He has a pretty good fireball. So he's going to come and hang out there. Um, uh, otherwise, the Gekotar warriors go back into the bulwarkers. The general on foot there goes into the side of the bulwarkers. Battle platform back into the tank, etc., etc. Um, so the mage priest only gets two damage um, from fireball onto these guys, which is pretty lucky. Um, I think it's like fireball ten, so I guess three, two and a half would probably be average because half of them would hit, half of them would. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's about right then. And waivers them, so not not a big deal because they don't have anywhere to go as you can see um so well that's fine at least they're still there making points uh the gekatar warriors come in with the gekatar warriors and the general in the side they're able to route the uh bulwarkers and end up looking like this afterwards with the fence on their head um and the battle platform gets a few more damage onto mr tank but he's okay Dwarves turn five. Let's jump right into it. Um, healing on the tank. Tank fights back. Routes battle platform, no problem. Reforms. Uh, the earth elementals come into the Gekotar warriors here and route them, no problem. Reform. Uh, the ranger captain and the boomstick operator um, route the hunters, no problem. So that's what we're looking at at the end of turn five, um, turn six, coming in here. Um, the only the only option that General had to charge was the Earth Elementals, and they have zero damage on them, so it would be a very little effect. So he just moves into a scoring position. Um, we talked about this, like what what could he possibly do, and it, maybe he could pull a tie. So he flies the. Um, Mage Priest over everyone, and he's just going to retry to fireball the shield breakers because they're they're pretty damaged. And if he can get them off the board, they won't be scoring any more points. Um, but uh, just more overview shots of that, how everyone's hanging out. Um, the outcome, though, is he f- does a fireball and does zero damage to the shield breakers, so um. Nothing has really changed at that effect. So we go into Dwarves turn 6. And to seal the deal, the Shield Breakers charge this General on foot there. Um, and the <laughs> the Earth Elementals backpedal just to get within scoring range. We go into combat and not unexpectedly the Shield Breakers handily defeat that. General on foot, and that's what it looks like. The end of that, the end of that. These are just more overview pictures. We did roll for a four, five, or six for another turn, and we didn't get one, but it wasn't gonna matter. This was a, as you can see, this was a solid dwarf victory. Um, we didn't even bother calculating the points. Um, it was just a mage priest versus more than half my army. So. Uh, and some afterthoughts, it was a surprisingly strong victory for the dwarves. Um, I found that most of my Kings of War games have been fairly even uh, in the end. The more, more likely I get a tie than people win. Um, I think this comes out from people I play is we, we don't we don't always like, you know, it's not super, super competitive where we're sneakily, you know, we help each other as, as we play. Like, we'll sit and rationalize about what we're doing. Like, like you could move here, but... Or you could move here, but... And, I mean, there's a lot of those kind of things. Um, so, ev- even with that, I, th- I think I just got lucky in a few spots. Um, his his flank into the shield breakers, not, not taking them out. Um, his rear, not taking them out. I mean, the shield the shield breakers were, were pretty solid troops this game. They took what they could and they carried on. Um, all of his shooting was for naught with all the defense six stuff. This just hard to hit or well, it's just hard to damage easy enough to hit just hard to damage, um, across the board and me being able to continually heal that tank 
is very, very helpful. So uh, those are some good things. Um, I like I like the flying ranger captain so far. He's been really fun. Um, he's a twenty inch vanguard, so I I fully I fully intend to use that uh, when I end up running against shooty hordes, which I haven't made a battle report, but I do have one guy who plays with lots of shooty elves. Um, he's just busy with school, so we haven't seen him yet. But uh, so I'm enjoying that. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna carry on painting my bull workers. Um, they probably will be the last unit of dwarves I paint. Famous, famous last words. But, um, anyways, sorry, I'm rambling. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and we'll catch you next time with some more battle reports, hopefully.